Hi friends, we are going to be talking about stem cells, exosomes, progenitor cells. It's a series and we are going to start from the eye, how it affects, how it improves the eye function in various conditions. Um, to tell you a brief, stem cells are the basic cells. There are different types of stem cells, embryonic stem cells, adult stem cells, progenitor uh, stem cells. So they are in between the embryonic and adult uh, cells. They can be derived from various uh, areas. It could be adipose tissue from umbilical, umbilical cord that is commonly known from the dental pulp. It can be taken from the blood, from bone marrow, from tissue, from skin, fibroblasts it can be taken. All parts of the body have stem cells and that is why we are living. If stem cells were not there in our body, we would not be surviving at all. And uh, there are some diseases which people, the, the kid uh, who is 7 to 10 years of age will look like a 50 year old, 70 year old person. That's because they don't have stem cells. So to coming to the point, uh, in diabetic retinopathy and uh, in retinitis pigmentosa, there are studies which are showing uh, one study from California Institute of uh, Regenerative Medicine has told that CD34 plus um, type of cell is used to regenerate the tissue which is damaged in the retina because of diabetic retinopathy. So the lost damaged tissue um, has been replaced and that also improves the blood flow restoring the blood flow is also seen in uh, the retina so these studies have proved that um, the visual function potential has improved so stem cells are being used in a wide variety of areas and in the eye for diabetic retinopathy for macular degeneration for uh, retinitis pigmentosa macular dystrophies optic atrophies it is being used for more details, contact us at Dr. Sashi Eye Care. Thank you.